Hello and welcome to the Blessed Sacrament Chapel here at Holy Cross Church in Puerto Rico, California. Today we celebrate Saturday's Mass in the octave of Easter. Today's celebrant is Pastor Monsignor Scott Doherty. The Lord brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with shouts of rejoicing. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. As we gather for this Saturday Mass within the octave of Easter, we gather also on this Saturday and uh, the conclusion of the Mass today, we will honor the Blessed Mother with the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She is the Mother of the Church. She is our spiritual Mother. She is one of us who has been lifted up by God as a reminder to us all that we are called to holiness, that we're called to an intimate, personal relationship with our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is open to us, for our Savior opens His arms to us and calls us with that great invitation to his life for ours, to this time of prayer, and to walk with him always, and to trust him with all of our life's burdens. And so we lay our burdens before him and ask for his pardon, his peace, and the grace to walk in faith every day. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the abundance of your grace give increase to the peoples who believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen and clothed with blessed immortality those reborn through the sacrament of baptism. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John, and, and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men. The leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed and recognized them as companions of Jesus. Then, when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that the, a, rem a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning 
never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judge. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them, on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is, I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. I will, I will give, give thanks, thanks to you, for you, you have answered, answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Through the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, for he has answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have been my Savior. I will give thanks, thanks to, to you, Lord, for you have answered me. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen, Early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions, who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. And after this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here again, Jesus relates to his disciples in a very real way, a personal way, at table. So much of what Jesus did in his public ministry was to gather with people at table. And in that way, they came to know him and to appreciate him. In particular, the disciples who invited them invited Jesus into their home in Emmaus and when they recognized him at their table in the breaking of the bread here now the eleven were at table and Jesus appeared to them he was not too happy he rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart 
Sometimes we like to portray Jesus as um, you know, just a little bit too weak, a little bit too timid, maybe just too mild. But Jesus is neither timid nor mild, and he certainly isn't weak. You can see that when he drove the money changers out of the temple. You can see that when he rebuked Peter. You can see that in this gospel. When he rebuked the disciples there for their hardness of heart. That message got through to them. They went out and did proclaim the gospel to every creature. They went out far and wide. Thomas the Apostle went to India. Not too much, you couldn't go too much farther than that in those days. And that was a rare journey indeed. But yet he did, and he established the church there, which is this to this day. We have all of those apostles, except for John, who witnessed the risen Lord, who had that time with him, and who could not be dissuaded from proclaiming the good news of salvation, from proclaiming the risen Lord. So much so that all except John gave their lives in the defense of the faith, in the witness of the risen Lord. In the Acts of the Apostles, that we heard in the first reading today, there's Peter and John proclaiming with boldness the risen Lord. They could not be dissuaded by the power of the Roman Empire itself. No threat, no intimidation could keep them from proclaiming Christ as Lord, as risen Lord. They saw him, they knew him, they knew what a relationship with Christ meant for them and what it means for us is the same as it meant for them. We live, we breathe, we have our very meaning in Jesus Christ, who's given us life, who has saved us from the power of sin and death, and who defines for us what true love is. True love is what we're called to. True love is what we're meant to live. And true love is neither timid nor mild, nor is it weak. The true love that Jesus had for his disciples moved him to at times have to rebuke them, instruct them in no uncertain terms what was required of them. He did it with love. He did it with strength, as must we. Our faith can never be weak. Our faith must be strong. And we, we must be willing to correct one another when we are off track, when we are buying into the gospel of the world rather than in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so we gather on this Saturday, this octave of Easter, we gather today when we honor the Blessed Mother, she who, as a young girl, put her life on the line to accept the invitation of the Lord, to be the mother of the Messiah, she who was ever courageous, who was there at the foot of the cross, who was there in the upper room at Pentecost, who is there for us as a witness of courageous faith. And in that courage that we have, inspired by the Blessed Mother, by the witness of the Apostles, we gather this day for this Holy Mass and long for that day God willing soon, when we will gather together at the altars of the Lord and proclaim with joyful hearts that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord, and He's risen. He's risen indeed. And so we place our needs before Him.
the response to each petition is, Hear us, O Lord. For the purification, sanctification, and con continuing conversion of Pope Francis, Pope Emeritus Benedict, Bishop Joseph Brennan, Bishop Emeritus Armando Ochoa, all clergy and religious, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Lord Jesus, come to our help now during the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, heal us from our fear, heal us from our pride, and heal us through the joy of Easter. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For the intention of this Mass, Michael Schmidt, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all who have died, for victims of war and violence, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters in military service, victims of abortion, and for all those who have recently died, Alejandro Baptista, Maria Reyes, Lillian Rubio, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For the sick, those victimized by hatred, war, oppression, and violence, and particular victims of the violence of sexual exploitation and assault, that they may be filled with the fullness of health in body, mind, and soul. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For the protection of law enforcement officers, persons in the military, firefighters, providers of medical services, that they serve with honor and courage and return home in good health in body, mind, and soul. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For rain and snow to nourish our lands and lives, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For faithful, Christ-centered priests to serve God's people and preside at his holy altars, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For our personal intentions, which we pause to include in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Lord. Loving God, our Father, we place these needs before you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Food of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of prayer. Mystery of this water and wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humble themselves to share in that. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Food of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by your Lord and your sacrifice and your that will be pleasing to you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, which for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Pray.
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this day above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Pastor has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he's destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy every land. Every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracious they make holy these gifts, we have brought to you. For consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs with St. Anne, St. Jotham, St. Therese de Sioux, St. Maximum Colby, St. Francis of Assisi, St. John Bosco, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. In the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. With the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. All of you who have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Jesus, sanctify me. Body of Jesus, save me. Blood of Jesus, wash me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Hide me within your sacred wounds. O oh, sacred heart of Mary, plead for me and love me. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to kneel or be seated for the litany to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jesus hear us. Jesus graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us. Mother Inviolate. Pray for us. Mother Undefiled. Pray for us. Mother Most Amiable. Pray for us. Mother Most Admirable. Pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel. Pray for us. Mother of Our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of Our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent. Pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable. Pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned. Pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful. Pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful. Pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of Justice. Pray for us. Seed of Wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of Our Joy. Pray for us. Spiritual Vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of Honor. Pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion. Pray for us. Mystical Rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of Ivory. Pray for us. House of Gold. Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us. Gate of Heaven. Pray for us. Morning Star. Pray for us. Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of Angels. Pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of Prophets. Pray for us. Queen of Apostles. Pray for us. Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of Confessors. Pray for us. Queen of Virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all Saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Queen of Families. Pray for us. Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beg you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and into the joy of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth to proclaim the gospel with our lives. Thanks be to God.